turn on the power and my ambient temperatures off minus 15 degrees just here it certainly isn't that outside I know that just scroll through again yeah 15 degrees minus 15 degrees with the frost indicator on which comes in at about minus five or four just start it up see if that makes any difference no it's just the same so I covered this in a previous video so this is just the video where it's where I need a ambient temperature sensor by the looks of it because it's faulty Here's the outside temperature now, which looks around 5 degrees, approximately. So, minus 15, I don't know where it's getting that from. So, I better check it out. Of course, the outside ambient temperature is outside the vehicle. Well, near enough. It's behind this grill, next to the fog light. If you haven't got a fog light, it's still a grill. So, we'll just take this grill out. This is where the ambient sensor is behind this little slot and the panel's held in by these two clips. You can either use a screwdriver, bend it down like that, but it's not particularly effective. Or use something like a trim tool and push it in at the top, releasing the clips. Then you just pull it forward, locate it on two little pegs at the bottom that fit into the bumper. Here's the sensor, it's on a bracket held in by the fog light screw. You can either take that one out or you can just push the centre three little clips and it'll squeeze out but you need to hold on to the bracket because it'll bend. There we go. Now to release the centre there's just a vag clip on the back which is uh, the little tag and you pull that up. This one's a bit tight, I'll get a screwdriver, put it in this slot and then bend it slightly. That should release it. There you go. As you can see it's a two pin plug. Here's the new one and the uh, part number. Oh look, it's just the same as the old one, but clean. Right, just fit that back. Uh, oh, before I do it, I'm going to uh, spray the contacts with some contact cleaner. Yeah, definitely. Seems to go in all right though. Let that evaporate. As you can see, it'll only go in one way. It's a sort of D-shaped connector. Uh, with two pins. This one's quite hard to push in till it clicks, but you need it to click so it'll hold it in place. Mm. Then just push it into the bracket. Ah, this is where you need to keep hold of it. And there we go. Just put the cover back on. And now for the moment of truth. Test it. See what the dashboard says. Turn the ignition on. Ah, that's a lot better. 8.5 degrees C. I'll just check that against my temperature gauge, which I've got resting here. And that looks about, what, 10 degrees, just before 10 degrees. What's that, 9 degrees? I wonder where it is near the sensor. And after leaving it a while, oh, 4 degrees. That's quite a bit of difference, but it is quite low down there. I wonder if it's adjusted to be more at sort of average height. Right, as some time has passed, I'll have a look at that again. Eight degrees now. Oh, that's dropped a little bit. 
but it's certainly not four degrees. I'll just test it at average height again. Oh, what would you say that is? Car height? Waist height, I think. Yeah, definitely eight degrees. You know, I bet these are adjusted to the temperature at waist height. I might be wrong, but it seems to be what my car's doing now. And I'm happy with that. Right, I think I'll go and test the old one, I think. Give me anti Mildred a rug back. I'll just shorten the plastic a bit on the sensor so I can get my probes on properly. I seem to remember it was quite difficult last time. It don't matter about this one, I'm chucking it away. Right, go test that. Put my probes on. And what I'm testing is ohms, resistance. 0.84 something, that should go down now with it going over the radiator. Which it does. And away, it should increase. Which it does. But that figure is a little bit different to what I was getting before, a few years ago. As you can see, that's one one point eight seven two, etc. So that's different, and that worked even with more resistance. Maybe the ECU is expecting a certain figure, and if it doesn't meet that, then it sends your display all wonky. It's a shame I didn't measure the new one actually. I should have done that, but I'm not taking it off now. It's all working, and it's a bit cold out. So make what you want to that, and I hope it helps somebody to be able to fix it. If you see a, a wonky figure on your dashboard basically replace it. I'll put a link in the description to where you can get older one. Anyway, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And if I haven't already said, thank you for watching.